The West wants things to be like a Superman cartoon with no Superman. Remember, Superman is superimposed on the Western conception of Horus, which is superimposed on the Royal African Falcon martial art order, the natural alpha, the most moral man, the most moral line, which is God's line, because the children of righteousness are the children of God. So now, when we look at romance, right? To truly have a romantic time, one must have a heroic heart. If you're the typical worker at NASA, or you're the typical kind of heavy set proud boy, or you're a typical homosexual or whatever, right? You're not really getting toward romantic. It's like being, uh, it's like Popeye eating spinach versus someone who's not Popeye eating spinach. You still feel some kind of way, but it's pathetic to compare it to Popeye eating spinach. You see what I'm saying? So where my love is derived from justice and not conformity, okay? I've earned the right. I've earned the divine rewards, okay? I've sown righteousness and I reap true love. I've sown justice and I reap true love. So when women sees me, right, and says, hey, if you want to date Prince Humperdinck or Gargamel or Lex Luthor, you're going to get that kind of relationship. If you want true love, you don't shun me because I've, uh, I've sown righteousness, justice, and things that are divine. Other people have it. And when they pretend that they have, it's even worse. They've sown deception, okay? You reap what you sow. Again, I tell you, you reap what you sow. You are rewarded according to your deeds, okay? You get what you deserve, okay? Now, when people are denying me what I deserve by raising their daughters to shun me, and women are denying me the, f the first chance at them, when they say, hey, who am I going to give a chance first? Some rich guy? Some racist guy? Some guy from your culture? That's pitiful. That's the cult of the flesh, that's why it says in Psalm 45, it says, forget your people and your father's house. The king will desire your beauty. Okay, submit to him, honor him, bow him, worship God through him. That's what Psalm 45 says in its various translations. Okay, and then Proverbs 16, 12 says the throne is established through righteousness. New living translation through justice. Okay, so the kings detest evil. They don't absorb it. They don't conform to it. They detest it. They carry their cross. No one else is doing that but me. And my focused moral intensity and universal pinpoint and moral precision argument proves it. Okay, I'm the top martial artist there ever was. And that is because God chose correctly as God always does. Okay, and I'm being persecuted for universal pinpoint and moral precision and explaining true love among other things. Okay, while people in the occult, people in, in the churches, people in cultures that are allowed argue that the Baphomet type of person is ideal. They argue that Richie Rich, you know, Prince Humperdinks are ideal. They argue that military and police, so these are the heroes and they're just government puppets that oppress people with oppressive laws. They argue that these things are ideal. They change my voice. They change the way I look. Okay, because they deal in deceit. Sorcery, witchcraft, switchcraft, switching, right? Confusing, turning the tables, trying to make it seem like I'm the bad guy, trying to make it seem like they're the good guy, trying to make it seem like these crazed lunatics, these crazed CEOs, one in five, according to their own workers, are said to be psychopaths and they're narcissists and sociopaths. They're trying to make it seem like these lunatics are sane and ideal and that the one guy insisting on universal pinpointing moral precision and living it is crazy. You should understand that I'm right now. I mean, I've been talking about these things since 2009. It's 2021, and that's on YouTube alone. I've been talking about them on Yahoo since I was like 12 years old, 11 years old, Yahoo and AOL, okay? I've been talking about these things with people as well. How long? How many mistakes? How much evidence? How much history? How much information do you people need before you're in the formation of God and not the world? 